what we really wanted to do was to offer a platform that was fully funded. Um, it goes along with the STS and the EACS combined approaches, uh, which is to foster, uh, you know, development of younger surgeons. This is for either senior residents or, or early career uh, attending surgeons. We felt that it would be good to join forces and create uh, this type of fellowship, which I think is very attractive and it will attract the attention of, of many young surgeons, both from Europe and, and North America. The way cardiac surgery kind of starts and stops and then moves and, and, and tacks uh, is different uh, a little bit on the two uh, on the two continents. For example, uh, the regulatory agencies of the two continents are different. Uh, they approve or disapprove of uh, different techniques and different devices that we use in cardiac surgery at a different rate. Uh, so if you want to get something and have exposure to something that is brand new, you may have to go to Europe to do that. Or in, uh, in the opposite direction, you may have to come to the United States for that. And it goes in both directions. Once the, the surgeon has received the award, uh, he or she will travel to the center of, of his or her choice. Uh, and they will basically spend time at that center. The activities that the fellow can, can be doing there is, is very open. Uh, it can be from learning a specific surgical technique or any other techniques, uh, might be able to develop uh, abilities in, in research matters. So uh, that will be very much tailor, tailored to, to the needs and aspirations of, of the awardees. It's a flexible award, not only uh, uh, from a time standpoint, but also uh, from a, a standpoint of which particular portion of cardiac surgery, uh, of the cardiac surgical universe, uh, they want to participate in, such as it can be structural heart, it can be aortic, it can be a bad transplant, ECMO, coronary bypass research, as Rafa said, all kinds of different things. Good preparation is, is of, of, the, of the essence. So uh, I, I would advise applicants to do their homework, choose well what they want to, to do and where they want to go, make sure that they can put their case forward for the uh, selection panel, um, and then try to make sure that what they are aiming to achieve is not not only for their own benefit, but also for the benefit of their own center or institution and for the benefit of the patients that he or she would be treating back home. We're looking forward to having uh, some uh, awardees uh, get, you know, get back to us and uh, tell us how uh, their experiences were, which I'm sure will be outstanding and maybe even transformational for them. Uh, and that's the whole point uh, of this. Uh, I don't know of any uh, other uh, award or any other a situation like that for cardiac uh, surgeons uh, in the world.